Hey everyone, welcome to Blender Rigging Tutorial Series. Today's video is going to be special because we are going to learn about Bendy Bone Rig. So without making this video any longer, let's go ahead and add our cube. Now I will scale this cube on the Z axis like this. Uh, I will also move it on the Y. Now once this is done, I'll uh, apply rotation and scale. Never forget to apply your rotation and scales. Go ahead into the armature, add an armature. Um, now let's go ahead and make this in front let's go to the side view or any of the view that you want now this doesn't have to be perfect you just need to have it on top like this okay now we will extrude it on the Z again so this will be like a control bone or a bendy bone now let's extrude on the Z like this as well now this bo bone is automatically disconnected because it doesn't follow the um, you can say the hierarchy of the bones because it is in the other direction. So what we will do is we will right click and then switch direction. Now as the direction is switched what we want is we want this bone to follow this bone at the bottom. So I want this bone to be the root bone so for that let's select the middle bone the last bone hit ctrl p and then we will click on connected and once the bone is connected uh, if you move this uh, this is now our root bone now go ahead and the top bone select that one hit alt p and then we will clear its parent because we want this bone to be disconnected next thing is we will uh, make this bone as a bendy bone so change this to b bone now usually in the previous versions of blender uh, you could just select uh, any of these uh, bones and hit ctrl alt s and scale them but now it doesn't work like that um, so doesn't matter what the length over here is you can always uh, scale them from over here now the reason why you scale this is because when you go into posing you need to be able to um, select this bone easily so it's your personal preference um, I like to scale this bone like this so I think I'll make this 0.2 now I'll select the bottom bone make this 0.2 uh, by the way we were in the bone properties uh, inside the bendy bones um, also the bendy bone itself uh, I can shrunk it down uh, because uh, it is kind of like similar to my cube so I'll shrink it down a little bit like this okay now we are going to add some segments so the maximum segments that is allowed is 32 so I'll just keep it at 32 uh, even if you put some number like a bigger number like 40 it is still going to clamped at 32 now uh, before parenting our mesh to our uh, bone setup i don't want the this top bone and bottom bone to be like able to be control my mesh and to stop that we have to again select the bone go into the bone properties and then over here as you can see a deform checkbox just uncheck this checkbox for both of the bones and now we will go ahead and parent but before that uh, our cube it doesn't have enough uh, segments so i'll just uh, go ahead and add some loop cuts uh, let's go for like 48 i guess i'll just lower it down so 48 segments uh, sounds nice in the object mode now let's save our file first select the mesh and then select the armature and then hit ctrl p with automatic weights if you go into the pose mode uh, if I move this everything is moving with it if I rotate it everything is rotating with it um, now this might not seem that uh, uh, you know like bendy bonish because we still have a lot of controls to add so the first thing I want is I want my this uh, bendy bone to point towards the this bones normal so the way we do that is before that actually let's name our bones because it is important whenever you are adding constraints to your bones or anything naming is really important so let's call this top bone as our top bone 
uh, and let's call this one as our bottom bone okay and this is our bendy bone so bendy uh, while, while in the pose mode select your bendy bone uh, get over here in the start handle change this to absolute and end handle make this absolute as well you can also make it tangent if you want um, relative uh, relative will just uh, try to get the relative axis of this match with relative axis of this bone so usually i don't prefer using relative now the start bone is over here so our bottom bone is our start and end bone is the top bone okay so now this top bone when i rotate it as you can see my bendy bone is rotating with it if i rotate the bottom one uh, as you can see um, it is a rot it is like rotating the whole thing but we still want it to be connected to work now what we will do is the last constraint that we want is select your bendy bone while in pose mode make sure that you are in the bone constraint and not in the normal object constraint so select the bone constraint add in a stretch to constraint and i want this to stretch towards my armature which is this one obviously and then the bone that i want to select is the top bone so this uh, bendy bone now this will stretch towards my top bone and now as you can see my rig uh, you know what let me turn on the random so that we can see our mesh clearly like this is the setup of bendy bones that's how you make bendy bone rig uh, now still there are some settings that you might want to know uh, let me go back into the object mode turn on the wireframe uh, also just so that it looks good okay cavity is already turned on what we will do is again go into the pose mode now as you can see when i stretch it too much uh, my initial uh, mesh it gets uh, stretched a lot uh, because it is trying to preserve the volume like the constraint it is trying to maintain whatever volume it was initially so if I squash it down, as you can see, we can see a little bit of deformation, uh, not little bit like way too much deformation in the original mesh itself. You can stop this deformation uh, just by clicking on none. Or if you just want it on the X axis or the Z axis, you can click it. Uh, you can specify the minimum and maximum volume over here. So it will try to maintain that um original length um let's not change this um if you want to change it you can everything is done um okay so now if i move it you'll see that it is not um scaling my initial mesh itself and i can now rotate this part and also i can now rotate this part as well and if i move it you'll see that this is a really powerful rig uh, the bendy bone rig is uh, really very powerful when you have to animate something like curves or a worm like body uh, by the way i think i still forgot to um, show you all something so if you select your bendy bone and then go inside over the bendy bone section in the bone properties uh, you can scale the in and outs like this and it will also scale the mesh uh, so not a lot of uh, tutorials show this uh, or is it like a blender 4 thing I don't know um, okay so that was the thing that I wanted to show you all um, so that's how you do bendy bones in blender version 4.0 now if this video helped you in any way then please like this video and if you want more tutorials like this then do subscribe project files will be in the description below for free so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.